Okay, Beetle Black, and it's very important to watch this one, this one, this one, and yes, pretty much all my videos, folks, but, and then I've got another one loading here also, which is the data, okay? Basically, some new footage from Sachi's, uh, Soho, Navy, and all of these, okay? So if you have not seen these, you need to watch them, because there is some amazing stuff going on out there, and basically, to make you watch all these is what's going to amaze you here if you have not seen these so you need to check all these out and like I say all the time watch all my videos ladies and gentlemen okay and another one recently is yo new vino black okay because basically there is some crazy stuff going on out there and to add to it here's some more because basically where we're at is one of the video players and basically I'm gonna take this down one scrunch okay I think I'm gonna be going backwards but it's not really gonna matter too much but you're gonna watch and I'm just gonna step okay Watch your clocks, and, but wa most importantly, watch this area here. And as you see, there is something that they don't want you to see here. And remember, it's always overlay. Okay, they strip stuff off, and then they put, and then sometimes they give you a whole shot. I really wish the overlay stuff would go away. Now watch this diamond, because basically I'm going to hit back real fast here, and you'll see that basically there's the sun. Okay. Now we will. Step forward. Now, as we are going, you're going to see this diamond. And basically, I think we are going to see it go away from the sun, okay? And as the clock goes on, it goes away. But this came down. As you saw the sun there, okay? Back it up for a second. So you see the sun, and you have that diamond. Now, if you've seen the videos I showed you a little bit ago, I had the... Uh, Lasco 3 behind that basically showed what this was, okay, uh, from a distance. And then I didn't really get, but this is it. We found it, okay. And it's a diamond, then it moves up. As you see where you can see when the sun flashes where it's at, and you can back up this video and see where the sun's at. But this huge diamond triangulation comes down towards the sun, okay. And also, check out what you're seeing also right there. Okay. Now, back up. And I think it was at, I got to go to the 9 o'clock hour. 9 o'clock, it seems like when it shows up. And there it comes. You can see it. And then you'll see an outline of this. Now, you got it. There is an outline of the diamond right there. And the sun's right here. And there it comes. See the diamond coming into effect? Here it comes down towards the sun. And see the time. And here you see it come down again. There's a small portion of it and a larger portion of it. So something huge is up there. And it's diamond shaped. And Actually, I'll just keep going, and we'll see if we get any kind of other image of it. But not really. Okay, now hack it. We go there. We had something there for a second. Let me see if I missed it. Because when it flashed... Okay, we got that. And then you get a shape of something there. Can't miss that. And then see what we get on another step shot, and then we'll back up to that, and we'll blow this up, and we'll see what we get look at there. You can't miss the sun, you can't miss that diamond shapeness. Okay, there's the sun, and then the, you can't miss that above. Okay, and the size of the sun, ladies and gentlemen, that's something huge. Okay, and we know you don't see Jupiter if you watch those videos I showed you just a little bit ago. You go back and watch all four of those videos. Jupiter is not, repeat, not in that position. Okay, so very interesting, and it's all right there. Okay, so I'm going to go back, and we're going to go ahead. I'll hit play, too. I'll we'll just move up, and you can get a good, and then if you want to play, and you'll see all that stuff happen. So there you see it drop. So as you can see right there, it's just very impossible not to see it, and it's huge. Now, it's probably a huge distance from the sun, possibly, too. You see? 
but as you watch those other three or four videos that I have there, and the fifth one, you know, the Yo Beano Black, you are seeing that there's astonishing stuff out there by the sun in the direction of looking in the view of the sun. And yes, there could be great separation between that diamond and the sun there. Okay, but no matter what, you do not miss that diamond triangulation. So, it's something that rises and sets with the sun. Now remember, this is behind, so that could possibly all be out in front of the sun. Rising and setting, part of the supergiants possibly with the sun out there. So we're going to keep seeing those pyramids, those shots that you see that people have on the tube, which I basically try to stay away from. I see them, people send them to me and so forth and so on, but those are where you get those pyramid shapes and those diamonds and those triangulations down on the video footage that people shoot from from holograms from up at the supergiants and the sun. It's a gigantic movie projector. Now usually the blues are pretty boring, okay, fresh, okay, Let's see if I get it to play, but you can see the diamond, okay, I'm going to even put my pointer up there, okay, sun, and then directly up there, you will see the diamond. Basically, there's a, okay, and no matter what, there's something right there, and we've seen the diamond action in that silhouette in the shot, so I'm going to go to another one. And basically, here, I had to edit, because basically, I screwed up and was taping without the mic, so here we go, with an x-ray shot. And basically, you're going to see some stuff. Now, there's going to be, you're going to see a stream here that's just not going to stop, folks. And whether it's from the sun or or, or something in front of the sun, uh, we're going to need to try to figure it out. Because you're going to see this stream here continuously flow. You see the roundness here of what you're going to see, a diamond that we just got done showing you on a lot of different shots. Uh, it won't really show as a diamond in here. And basically, you see that there's something huge and roundish there. Okay? And also right here. Okay? we're going to hit play on this footage here and we'll let this take off but when you have this kind of a huge CME from either the suns or suns in the super giants with the sun uh, you get to see full effect of what's out there and around the sun this here is an x-ray of what's going on out there not stripped like you've seen some of the other shot earlier showed stripping on it okay so this will play and as you see I think I have this going reverse right now so Let's hit forward, and I think that'll be playing forward. And I don't want that there, but I don't know. It'll stay there, I guess. And this stream just does not stop streaming right there. There's a long, a thin stream there. It gets wide at times, and it just doesn't quit spewing. Now I'll see what we can do as far as, let's see if we go through a day here. Is it just the first? And we'll see if we can go ahead and and let's take a little look at this here. Because no matter what, this is some kind of wild... I mean, when stuff shows up, it's image, no matter what. This is out there in space. And that's a massive area, okay? And it's like, you know, make up your mind whether you think that is an asteroid belt, comets, huge... Because basically this is huge, okay? Uh light might make it look bigger than what it is but that's a really weird pattern right there on these shots usually to have now let me go ahead and i think i got it going i'll hit step and there you get a really i'll back it up and you get a real big impression of what's going on right there with the big roundness there then we get the x-ray image again and i'll step through this here and as basically that could have possibly been saturn or Mercury up there. This will step back to that quite possibly there. Okay, shining through. And no matter what, you get a view of some crazy stuff that's out there. When you see those balls, even though it's CME action and so forth and so on, but it basically x rays out there what stuff is out there in space. So, we have this that's basically constantly spewing straight there, whether it's off the sun or one of the suns in the supergiants or whatever. And you can't miss those balls to the right being pretty much x-rayed and taking the clothes off space and let you see that stuff there. 
and oh, I hit. We'll step through this some more. And there's another X-ray shot because basically just CME just X-rays everything out there. Okay, and then let's go ahead and like I say, this spew is just constantly spewing right there. Okay, whether it's material, let's just hit play and let it go at it. So, and yeah, this is going in reverse, but it doesn't really, you know, somewhat does not matter. You see stuff going back in towards the sun. Okay, now we'll just hit, we'll hit forward, so that you'll get the idea that everything is just the sun is CMEing its ass off. Okay, so more interesting. It's all there. It ain't, and it's layers and layers and layers. These shots that you see, layers and layers and layers of truth and data from Soho and Sechi. And we got lucky and got this last go to play here. And basically you're going to see diamonds take off out of a plume off of the sun. Okay. So pretty wild. Because that originates from the sun. A diamond CME plume. So, is the sun giving birth to stars or comets? Because, you know, you want to call it farting or giving birth because there goes a gigantic diamond that basically the same thing that we've seen on the footage earlier, okay? And either that or there's a huge planet there and that CMA hits it Coronal mass ejection off the sun hits that planet that rises and falls right there. That's huge. Is it something in the supergiants? Or is it something just huge in space? Because no matter what, CME, wham, something hits something and makes a diamond shape. And you see it on all this footage in this video. Okay, and basically the third and fourth we have some major CME action coming to Earth. Okay, well keep an eye on your date here, the third and fourth. When you see the third and fourth, the third and the fourth. Okay, we got CME action coming towards Earth. Okay, it's gonna hit pretty good on the third and the fourth. Uh Hawaii is probably gonna be pretty high of a, of a little higher quake than they've had in the past as you see on the ionosphere and probably more than likely late in the evening as we rotate to the east and as you see a tip there towards Hawaii and also down in New Zealand and so forth and so on too and I believe that when you see something like that yeah more than likely I mean we have the most wild activity unsettled you know in the idea that we had just had a huge magnetosphere action. We went to white, okay? And you don't see that gauge on here, but if anybody knows of the magnetosphere, uh, you look that up on the internet, there's a live magnetosphere, and we were at white here a few days ago. So this makes me think that the idea that we probably got some wild action that they don't want you to see, just pretty stinky. Check this sun, it's not the sun, it's the one of the suns, okay? Here we go with the rise time. Get that up there. Watch a clock on the right. And then watch the huge sun come up. Watch a clock up the right. Here comes the super giants. And then the sun will come up. And here comes the shadow. Way more than one. 